So back in March, Ryan and I announced the second Yugi No No Cup. I announced it at the end of my bullying in Yu-Gi-Oh video, and we decided to host an online tournament on my Discord server to lift all the spirits about bullying, as well as the fact that card shops have been closed. The tournament, of course, has been ongoing, and there were delays with the participants in the final rounds. The winner of the tournament even lives on the other side of the planet from me. But now that it has been concluded, it's time to show the finals as well as hold up my end of the deal. My end of the deal being the prize of any metamat of the winners choosing from a wide variety that I have been sitting on. But first, I have to lament because a Cyber Dragon player made it so close to making it to the finals, making it all the way to top four. I was really rooting for him, but spoiler alerts, Cyber Dragons did not win the, 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 the Yugi no no cut. Yeah, it sucks. I would like to take this time to personally thank everyone who participated in this tournament. You all kicked ass and made the experience fun and smooth for everyone. Your good sportsmanship is very much appreciated. Special thanks, of course, to MetaMats for always providing me with plenty of mats to give away to you guys. You can also enter the code Yugi Jesus on MetaMats.com for 10% off. I also want to give a huge shout out to Ryan, also known as Unrated Sevenfold, who runs my Discord server and who put this tournament on. It couldn't have been done without you, man. Seriously, seriously, thank you so much. Now, to the final match and the prize mat. And so it begins, guys. Our salad player opens up with Cynet Mining, goes into that Bay Lakes, um, gets out, um, looks like he's going to go into, yeah, Wolf. Typical uh, salad combo stuff. Um, gets a search for Foxy. Um, he's probably going to go into uh, Transcode. Yep, Transcode Talker here. Um, so he's going to end with, yeah, the Zero, zero Boros. If you guys don't know what Zero Boros does, is if a monster is special summoned to a uh, zone he points to, that's going to banish all cards on the board. Um, <laughs> now that is uh, that the first turn has been completed, um, our, rocket, uh, our Rocket player has to break this board gets rid of the uh, zero boros but uh, gets a su uh, s uh, search for boot sector launch um, I'm going to use this time to say I'm going to use this time to say that this is last format uh, but the di there's not any difference between last format and this format like I said a little bit ago um, there was a there was a lot of delays with the finals for this tournament I'm just glad that it's done um, also like I said the winner of this tournament's on the other side of the planet for me so I got a mail map to the other side of the globe a matter of fact to Lebanon of all places but no spoilers no spoilers I'm gonna guess I'm not I'm not gonna say who wins, but I will say that it is not looking good for our salad player right now. We got that red MD combo. Uh, well, I mean, what, what is he? He has no responses, no hand traps. I think the hand's about to go. I think it's all about to go. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. So, um, we got game two going on. So, sighting is in progress once again. Last format, not really any difference between that last format and this format. Um, I would have had this video out sooner, but, you know, delays and stuff like that. Not to mention, um, you know, the world situation stuff going on. Um, but our salad player. Opens up with side net mining again, gets it off of Pot of Desires. Man, he goes neg nine for that though. He went neg nine. What? <laughs> the risky play gets sanctuary. Uh, Bay Lynx. He's he's just going off here. Salad is such a good deck. It has a lot of one you know cool one card combos and stuff like that. Um, and like he uh, in, even in, ends with an ash on the on board. <laughs> but um, oh man, Imperial Order! Imperial Order on Cosmic Cyclone. Get wrecked, son. Get wrecked. Okay. All right. So it looks like our salad player probably sided in that Imperial Order. I don't think he mained it. I mean, unless he did main it. But either way, uh, Imperial Order is at one. And he saw that one Imperial Order. Wow. Wow. Oh, I don't know how. Let's see. If, like, our Rocket player is not dead, though. Our Rocket player is not dead. Um, I'm not rooting for anybody in particular, especially because now our Cyber Dragon player, he was eliminated from the tournament already. Oh, I was hoping that he would win. But let's see how our uh, Cyber player can get over that 3,000 attack. Sets a card. Sets two. Sets two passes. That's what he does. He sets two passes. Oh, man. Uh, which rocket is that? They all look the same to me. Is that is that Anis? No, that's not that. Uh, either way, he goes into Striker Dragon, gets a boot uh, boot sector launch. All the rockets look the, look the same to me, except for you know Tracer and uh, it's them the main ones. Tracer being the tuner and stuff, but the rest of them just kind of blend together for me. Wow, Red MD again though. 1950. Oh, he's oh he's still in battle phase. Yeah, that's gonna be 1800. Man, wow, what was it 1850 and nine? No, that's, that is 1900. It was a 1950, 1900 attack. Wow, 50 life points left. Can he come back with 50 life points? Azazel versus Blue Boy 10. Can Azazel, uh, Azazel, can he come back? Can he come back with 50 life points? Chance code? What's he got? Okay, all right, goes in for damage. That's it. Dude, 50, oh my gosh. 50 life point comeback. 
Dude, the light boy come back. That, those two games, those first two games went by really fast. That means this last game is gonna be epic. Wow, like I haven't, this is my live reaction, guys, seriously. I, like, I mean, I'm watching this in Premiere right now. I have it on fast forward, but um, have I, like, I haven't really watched it. <laughs> like, I haven't really watched this at all. I just kind of uh, know, what, I knew what the final decks were, but you're watching my live reaction, a uh, live reaction to the to this duel. Man, he keeps open, he keeps getting that red MD. That's tight. I mean, did red MD go to three and I forgot about it? Maybe it did. But um, in my in my mind, maybe it didn't. I forgot about it because of its errata. But in my mind, I keep thinking, oh man, one red, red MD. Like he, he keeps seeing it, but it could have went to three with the errata, and I'm just not remembering off the top of my head right now. Correct me if I'm wrong. But um, a boot sector launch. Um, he goes into uh, spheres. Uh, gets that. Um, you know what's it called? Uh, the, the one that the one the special summons uh, the, the the world legacy the, the, the guard dragon thing is special summons a dragon level four lower dragon from the graveyard. I forget what these cards names are. Uh, but we have Boral Savage out, guys. Boral Savage Dragon. We have we're like oh evenly matched. Oh, Double evenly matched. Oh man. So what that means, guys, is that he used Savage to stop the first evenly, drop the second evenly. Wow, he saw both evenly matched. Oh, man, that, that reminds me of what happened to me the other day, where like I was playing, uh, I was playing Counter Fairies, of course, just something easy. Like I always, I'm always cheesing wins and stuff, or you know, Heralds, or you know, even Cyber Dragons cheeses wins because you just Chimera tech your opponent to death, like for real. But um, this guy, I had the light, the uh, light barrier statue of the heavens out. And this guy had uh, two impermanents. He had both impermanents to be able to turn off my light barrier statue. And I was like, oh my gosh. Like, sometimes it t sometimes you see both cards. Sometimes you see two copies of that one card you need and it bails you out. Sometimes one copy of it's not enough. Like, we just saw is the point, guys. What we Like, what we just saw. Two evenly matches. Wow. Goes into, a tr uh, not Tracer Dragon. He goes into a Striker Dragon. My bad. Red MD. Man, Red MD is really doing work. Red MD is really doing work in this in this match. Uh, Red MD, I, I've just seen do a lot of work for Rockets in general. Uh, classic card. Um, I used to play Red MD way back uh, when Chaos Dragons was a really good deck. Other than that, I haven't touched Red MD in years. I, in other words, guys, I haven't touched Red, Red MD since it, since it's errata. I haven't touched it since it's got since it was put on the list or whatever. But I just haven't touched that card. It's so cool seeing it be, be played again because I played it in like Duelist Alliance formats. Yeah, like I played Chaos Dragons in Duelist Alliance format because uh, Dante and you build a bunch and it was just easy to get like a million like Chaos Dragons out. This is not looking good for our Rocket player though we got full salad combo we got panker tops I mean the, the wolf is gonna crash into uh, it's gonna attack into a tracer tracer is gonna float out into silver rocket dragon getting a 1900 attack what's he gonna attack into okay so he attacks into the silver rocket dragon with the uh, panker tops goes into wolf oh the Nibiru! oh 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 Oh, I'm not expecting Nibiru. Oh, wow. Wow. Nibiru. Blue Boy 10, hold it on, guys. Blue Boy 10, holding on. Gets Tracer out. He's got Nibiru with 3,000 attack. Man, why do they have to give it 3,000 attack? Why do they have to do that to boot, you know? Like... It's not. It's not enough that it, that it screws up your opponent's board. No, 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 no. It's got. It's got to have three thousand attack too. It's kind of like lava golem. Like not only did I tribute your crap, and not only are you gonna take burn damage, but let's get three thousand attack. Like I mean, but then again, like you're giving your opponent three. The, the point is three thousand attack. Why is it always three thousand attack for these busted cards? I mean, he Boral Savage like blue eyes three thousand attack. It's just the. Uh, it's how it is. And they're just talking back and forth here. Gazelle's out, a token's out, Sanctuary's out, one card set on our salad side. Discussing damage. It's probably gonna go into, uh, yeah, Striker. Nibiru's still out. He's gonna, he's probably gonna do something with that, with that Nibiru. Um, he needs to get more damage in. He needs to get 4,600 in to win. I'm not sure how he can do it. it sinks up. He's got to get past that. Once again, he's got to get past that gazelle and that token. I don't know if he's going to get there. 
Yeah, he doesn't get, I mean, he, just, he doesn't get there. He doesn't, I was like, then there's, there's something I'm not seeing here. I am on a smaller screen. Once again, I'm watching this, in, you know, in editing software. I'm not watching this in full screen. So like, I, I, I'm having a hard time even telling what the cards are right now. It's kind of going off a of picture memory here. DD Crow is pretty tight though. Man, I don't. I think. I think our. I think our salad player is gonna make a comeback, guys. I think he's gonna come back. Ash comes out. The, why, and that's another thing. Why do they have to give Ash like 1,800 defense? That's, that's freaking annoying, by the way. When like usually like the max attack of your monsters is 1,800 attack. Like they did it on purpose. They did that on purpose, and you know it. Oh man, Leo, Wolf, dude, this is not looking good. This is not looking good for our rocket player. Leo. And, I mean, I, I don't know, I don't, I just don't think our rocket, I don't think our rocket player could come back, guys. I don't think he, he's gonna be able to come back. Yeah, he passed his turn. Oh, Gazelle, it's in the ball, dude, it's over, it's over. Yeah, it's over, guys. Oh my gosh. All right. Azazel is our champion. Azazel defeats Blue Boy 10 is our champion of the second Yugi No No Cup on my Discord server. Matter of fact, this, they're always going to be on the Discord server. The third Yugi No No Cup is going to be on the Discord server too. Ryan puts on the best tournaments for me. Um, I'm sorry if my commentary sucked. Uh, once again, a smaller screen. Can't really tell what all the rockets are. Way more familiar with salad than rockets. I mean, I'm familiar with rockets, obviously, but not when the screen is. So, and I'm just trying to commentate, fast forward, didn't want to take up everybody's time today, just wanted to show the final match, and now that I've shown the final match, it's time to award the winner with their prize mat, and show you the mat that they chose. Alright, so here are all the mats that I made available to the winner, two Seto Kaiba mats, one of them is a one of a kind, with a special one of a kind black backing even, I have the Koi Fish one, the Final Fantasy 7, the Spirit of the Warrior, Way of the Warrior, um, I got uh, a Naruto mat, I got uh, I got a Yugi Nono -No mat, and then I have the Mermail mat. These are all the mats that I made available to the winner. They got to pick which one they chose. And our winner, Azazel, picked the Final Fantasy VII mat to be his prize. Great choice in mats. I don't even play Final Fantasy. I've never played Final Fantasy VII in particular in my life. And uh, this mat is still kick-ass to me. The colors are just great. Congratulations once again. Azazel is our 2020 Yugi Nono Cup 2 champion. Bow down to him! I mean, you guys can have a chance to win another mat from me, but you're, you're, not, you're not getting this one. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. This one's gone forever. Unless Dave sends me another one of these, you don't have a chance to win one. It, it's his. It's his mat now. Yeah, serious stuff. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> Congrats, dude.